is your American dream? I'm from the Philippines. My American dream is to have a job wherein I can help people to achieve their dreams, which is the most important thing for me. I'm American. I was born in New York, and my American dream is to constantly learn and grow and use whatever God's given me to help as many people as I can. I'm from Belgium, and my American dream is to bring laughter and joy into people's lives through comedy. My family background is West Indian, with roots in Curacao, Guyana, and Puerto Rico. My American dream is to live in a country where everybody loves and respects one another. My background is Irish and African American. My American dream would be to make enough to live a happy and fulfilling life. Everyone has a right to the American dream. Well, Sparring Bernstein has been nothing but great to me throughout my trials. I mean, it's five years into this car accident and um, they never gave up on me, never. And in everything, they fought for me. And I am so proud to tell everyone, don't even wink for a moment. See you, Sparring Bernstein. My, my lawyer here, Mr. Barack, has been a cage animal. He wanted to go on trial, but thank God we settled out of court and it was something that I'm very, very happy about. So everyone, I'm telling you, I'm not just making stories up. You have to use this law firm. Spar and Bernstein is the best, worldwide best. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. I hear her. Welcome to the Brad and Squeeze Show, another edition in a beautiful Tuesday morning. Blast off! Blast off! Blast off! Blast completely off! Or sayonara! <laughs> I like as that word. As they say in Japan, See you. hola, as they say in, uh, yeah. in, uh, to, in, in Latin America. Um. South uh, America, Central America, Mexico. Good morning, 93.5. Which movie right. is that? Uh, that's Good Morning Vietnam. Uh, there you go. <laughs> that's Robin Williams. Right, good right, morning. right. Good morning, Facebook Live. That's the Brad and Squeeze Show. Uh, yes, there you go. And yes. that's the name of the web, uh, the web, the URL that you should actually go to Facebook right now, Brad and Squeeze. Check it out right now. It's time to get your questions answered and a whole lot more. The number to call is 1-800-529-5465. The news anchor is here. His name is Brad Bernstein. No, he's an attorney. And he's going to be answering your immigration questions in a few. But right now, it's all about you sharing. I want everybody to share. I want this to be the biggest show. A lot of stuff in the news today with what happened yesterday. And Brad's going to bring us up on some issues going on in and around the country and around the world. And good stuff, off stuff, bad stuff, mm -hmm. all of that. But we're just going to talk about it right here in the Brad and Squeeze show. Make sure you share the Facebook page, which is called Brad and Squeeze right now. Once again... Facebook.com slash Brad and Squeeze. The number to call to get on the air to ask your immigration questions of the attorney happens to be 1-800-529-5465. Driving in a car, it's easily remembered. 1-800-LAWLIC. But once again, very important, we're warming up the show, waiting for the calls to come in. You need to share this Facebook page on every timeline, especially yours and others. And once again in groups. And uh, welcome the Brad Squad and the Team Squeeze right here on the Brad and Squeeze Show. Mr. Bearded Man, how are you? How are you, sir? I am. You are also the Bearded Man. Yes, I am Bearded. That right. is right. And uh, by the way, today we mm. should start off to the uh, four uh, to the members what? of the tribe who watch the show as well. It is Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah, Happy by Hanukkah the way. Hanukkah tonight. It starts today, right? It starts t this evening. Right. It is the first, this, the first of multiple holidays. Eight days. Eight day, eight crazy nights. And then, uh, I don't, what comes next? When does Kwanzaa start? If you're a rabbi here, you, know you say, do you know eight what? crazy nights yeah. is going to slap you around. Well, you're going to meet the rabbi after. He's coming to see me at 10. <laughs> oh, All okay. right. He, he can do a prayer for you. It's fine. All right. Uh, Good. <laughs> what, um, what, uh, when does Kwanzaa start? I don't even know. I should look that up on the calendar. December 26th is, yeah, is there Kwanzaa. Go. There you go. And by the way, the reason I just realized why everyone hears Jill is because she comes in so loud into our into our yeah, microphone. Yeah, mic can't turn down. Yeah. So, um, so the uh, mic has to be turned down and then nobody would hear. I think that's what it is. But any event, um, it, is, it is Hanukkah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so put on your yarmulke. Mm -hmm. Here comes Hanukkah. Mm-hmm. 
So much fudaka? Oh, if those people don't know, you know what, what that is, uh, what, what about those people who don't know what Yamaka is? Hanukkah is the festival what? of lights. No, no, no. What um, Yamaka? What a, what is a Yamaka? It's just a hat that um, to show that you put on your head because you're supposed to always be covered in the presence of God. Got you. Hmm. Mm. That is the Hanukkah it. swab right <laughs> there. It. All right. So uh, you you never had this problem. There it is. The Hanukkah. The Hanukkah menorah. You yeah. never had this problem when you were the only kid in town who didn't have a Christmas tree like me. Well, your religion is different. Right. I never had. Is that Shaggy calling? Because if it's not Shaggy, we're not picking up the phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I know you won't be picking yeah, up the phone um, in the future right. about, about a few people. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, so there will be a few people that will not be picking up the phone for for the rest of eternity. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Anyway, even folks. when even when I have my judge show, <laughs> I've been lying for a judge show. Apparently, I've been, I've been lying for a judge show. When oh, I have the man. judge, yes. Anyway, folks, it's going to be a great show. We want everybody once again to tune into the Brad and Squeeze Show. It's fun. We've been doing this for years. I can't even count, man, how much I spent more time with this band than I've spent with some of the women in my life, and that's that not is, a good thing. That is scary. It's <laughs> very scary. Yes, that is scary. And, and don't don't talk about that in car accidents <laughs> in the same <laughs> sentence. <Yeah>. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's very bad. That you is know. bad. I've spent a lot. I've spent a lot of time with this man. Let's talk car accidents, <laughs> especially. <laughs> None of that. <laughs> anyway, one eight hundred five two nine five four six five. Once again, pleasant good morning to Team Squeeze and Brad Squad. Those are the people who constantly like can follow and share our uh, Facebook page, Brad and Squeeze, all over the internet. Um, they're in blogs. They're all over. They make things become viral. But um, anything in the news that's been viral lately? Yeah, well, at first I just want to say before, yes, there's a whole thing, bunch of things in the news we want to get to before we get to your immigration questions. But first thing I want to do, Squeeze, and I know I'm mentioning something. By that the way, you are you connected? Hmm? Are you connected? I believe so, yes. You sure? Yeah. To the IP. You want me to double check? Yeah, I want you to double check. Uh, yes, I am. Okay. Okay. So uh, one of the things that I wanted to do was mm -hmm. uh, remind everybody to please share this with your friends and family. I know Squeeze just did. Yes. I want to say a good morning to Lisa Bling Rose, who always says good morning to us. Ma Dukes mm -hmm. always says good morning to us on Facebook, mm -hmm. on the Brad and Squeeze page. Right. This is our official page, the only page we will read stuff off of. Yep. Uh, Natalie McLean. Uh, good morning. And Denise uh, Sh Shaviv, good morning. She says Kwanzaa is the 26th of December. She knew it before us. So uh, we will, of course, uh, be uh, be uh, discussing that as well. Lisa Bling Rose, bless up. Uh, bless up, bless Brad. Up. You sound Jamaican. Bless there. up. Because she said bless up, Brad and Squeeze. So I'm just saying right back to her. saying that, right? Simona Davis, good morning. Jeff Bossy, mm -hmm. Mr. Trump Troll. Thank you very much. He sent us a Trump troll. <laughs> Carol Anderson the Tiger. Squeeze is very popular, she says. Who said that? Carol Anderson the Tiger. Why, why did she mm -hmm. say that? Yeah. Why am I popular? And, uh, I don't know. Um, and Jeff Bossy says that his place is lit up like Chris Kringle popped in on my lawn. <laughs> and uh, Natalie McLean says, good morning. Lisa Bling Rose, good morning to the queen, the king uh, that's doing the SMG today. And uh, happy holidays to everybody. Uh, by the way, you know, you know, on the Brad and Squeeze show, we talk about people's rights and how sometimes the police um, violate your rights. And we talk about that a lot and why you need good criminal defense attorneys. But in the same token, you know, the police are there to protect you. And the police, absolutely, do, and absolutely. The police do a good job. And yesterday, you know, when we have to, when we have to put praise on the police, yep. we got to put praise on the police. You know, yesterday with that bombing in Times Square, mm -hmm. uh, there was, it could have been a lot worse. There was a 28-year-old Port Authority police officer who is a hero. His name is Anthony Manfre Manfredini. Uh, he's a uh, former canine bob technician in the Marines. Right. He was the first Port Authority officer to jump the man who had the bomb before it detonated. He did not know whether the bomb was going to go detonate, off or not. go right. off on him or not. He basically gave his life, potentially gave his life to save the lives of others. Uh, three additional uh, police officers came and jumped on him as well before the man was disarmed. That is completely with, awesome. With a bomb, <clears throat> and we have to we have to mention all of their names. Um, and uh, it was uh, where where's where do you have the list of names? There you go, Jack Collins. Sean Gallagher and Drew Preston, also police officers, all of them 
All of them uh, are heroes. Mr. Collins is a 45-year-old attorney, actually, turned police officer, an 18-year veteran with the police authority police, Port Authority Police. Mr. Gallagher is a 26-year-old former Marine. Mr. Preston is a 36-year-old former Army soldier. See, see this is who good served, news, you know. He served I'm, 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 two as tours as of duty in Iraq. Authorities were helping out. That is correct. You know, that is, is good. Is great. That is good news. So when we have Protecting, to praise the police, you know? we will praise them. They I, did a fabulous job. Fabulous. It could have been a lot worse. And when police give their lives in here's, the, here's in the line like of to duty to protect other people. Uh, it's why um, it's why we call them New York's finest. And let me ask you, what uh, what has your friend been saying about this? The guy that you speak about more than any other guy, squeeze even, even more than me, squeeze. Not me. Who else do I talk about? You talk about one guy more than me, more than Carol Anderson and, the, and Brad Squad and Team Squeeze, Jill, everybody. You speak about that guy more than any other guy. What right other now guy are you talking about? Every day you talk about him. Which guy? That, that same guy. Oh, DT. D there you go. DT. Your guy. Yes. DT had absolutely nothing to say, as far as I'm aware. Right. Uh, but he still, still seems to think that the New York Times is fake news because he doesn't watch four hours of TV a day. All right. Also Meanwhile, we have a bombing going on in New York. Correct. Correct. Also in the news, Squeeze, yeah. it appears that Roy Moore, the uh, racist, bigoted, yeah. pedophile right. uh, who's running for the Senate seat in Alabama, hopefully we pray to any God that will listen to me, any God we pray to today, if I was able to get on my knees and not disconnect all of my wires, I would pray mm -hmm. to every God, Christian, Buddha, Muslim, Jewish, whatever the God out there that would listen to me, Please make sure that a pedophile does not go into the U.S. Senate look. today. What? It would please, not be a good look. Please, Alabama, and please, God, may that not happen. Uh, yet, uh, yeah, he's a racist. Squeeze. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll see yeah. what happens in the election today. He's yep. a bigot. He is a anti-gay, anti-lesbian, hates blacks. Yeah. Um, why, why would we want to put hates, someone like hates, that in? Hates immigrants and likes to date fourteen-year-old girls. Okay. With that said. His wife came out and said they are not anti-Semitic because one of their attorneys is Jewish. <laughs> Just because you hire a Jewish attorney makes you not anti-Semitic. Great news. She says fake news will tell you we don't, we don't care for Jews. Fake news will say, this is the wife saying it, fake news says we're anti-Semitic. But I tell you all because I've seen it, I just want to <laughs> set the record straight, one of our attorneys is Jewish. <laughs> Can't make it up, please. You can't. So if you hire a Jewish attorney, then you're all okay. You know what, Squeeze? I'm you sure. I'm no, sure, no, no, Brad. I'm sure. I'm sure they hired. I'm sure they hired uh, a Latino to do their lawn. Oh, that's exactly. I was about to. That's I was about to say when you get on the bus. Yeah. I mean, the bus driver the could be Jewish. Yeah. Could be black. Yeah. It could be whatever. I mean, <laughs> sometimes people say the most ridiculous things I have yes, ever heard. Yes. So, uh, so come on, Alabama. Let's do something. And Listen, by the way, by my, the way, your friend. Uh, you want my prediction? Your friend DT. He's gonna lose. He's gonna lose. Your friend That's DT has I officially endorsed him. Mm -hmm. Has officially endorsed him because it, it's more important that they get a Republican vote than you get a uh, pedophile. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Okay. Democratic Congresswomen are calling for a Trump investigation squeeze. And why? Why? Because he has sexually attacked or abused allegedly thirteen different women. And rightfully so, right. as far why, as calling that is, investigation. Why is everybody else being investigated and this guy gets a pass? You know, Donald Trump responded. He said, the American people spoke and they heard of these allegations and they elected me. Well, Mr. Trump. Looking at it right Okay. Now. In a, guess what? Just because you got elected president doesn't mean this stuff didn't happen. and doesn't mean you get a free pass. Yep. And doesn't mean that the trial is over. I never heard that before. I never heard that if you get elected to an office, then, 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 it, it's then done. you're done. No, 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 no. Having an election has nothing to do with whether or not you did this. There should be an investigation. And a, as a matter of fact, Nikki Haley, who is the uh, UN ambassador that was appointed by Trump, she's a woman, very smart lady. She said Trump should be investigated like everybody else. I, and that's I, a Trump appointee. That. And that's a Trump appointee. So here, oh, here it is. Nikki Haley, the U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations, said yesterday that any woman who felt somehow mistreated or violated by a man has a right to be heard, even if she's accusing the President of the United States. <clears throat> it was on my card. I didn't even realize that.
There you go. CBS News, John Dickerson said, Haley, what she thought about the cultural shift going on in America right now. And Haley said, I'm incredibly proud of the women who have come forward. I'm proud of their strength. I'm proud of their courage. And I think that the idea that this is happening, I think it will start to bring a conscience to the situation, not just in politics, but in, you know, we've seen in Hollywood and every industry, and I think the time has come. Okay, so this is the time to come. This is it. This is the reckoning, including the President of the United States, including a man who is, a, who is an accused pedophile by 15 women. You know what? 15 women say you did it, and they lined those 15 women up in a court of law. Mm -hmm. It's very unlikely that it didn't happen. It, yeah, very unlikely. Yeah. No. Yeah. And anyway. I think, and I think, according to Jill, right. that hashtag MeTooTrump. Okay is now starting to affect Mr. Trump. Now, he's not going to get impeached from all of this, but he should certainly be investigated. Absolutely. And by the way, they're bringing out the big, big guns now in California. Before they bring out the big yeah, guns no, in California, we have no calls for I just want to um, run keep, the number. I can keep doing my wolf blitz yeah, 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 but, but I got to run the number. Yes. So once again, folks, we are here at the Bradford Squeeze Show. We're ready to take your immigration questions. Now, this is how you get your questions in so that the attorney Bradford H. Bernstein can stop reading news. You call this number, one 800 Five two nine five four six five. So if you're on the highway, the byway, the throughway, the parkway, the roadway, like I said, call this number one eight hundred five two nine five four six five. Green card questions, citizenship questions, work permit questions. Once again, folks, all these questions, regardless of where you are in the world, as long as it has to do with U.S. immigration, guess what? Bradford H. Bernstein, I love saying that, can answer your questions. <laughs> you notice I've been saying that lately. Why do you like him saying that? <laughs> I don't know, man, because H has no, yeah. it, has, it has, has a significance. Nothing, has no meaning. Yeah, it's no, no meaning, but no it has meaning a, whatsoever. Yeah, it's just H. Yes. You know? Right. Don't be great if you said, yes, my Jewish attorney, no. <laughs> my Jewish attorney, yeah. Bradford H. Bernstein. Bradford Happy Bernstein. <laughs> yes, but yeah, I am happy. I am yeah. happy. Bradford Happy Bernstein. Yeah. Yeah, 1-800-529-5465, yes. 1 529 Call us now with your immigration questions. Also, you may place those questions on the Brad and Squeeze Facebook page, and um, we will respond to those questions with the answers. And remember, folks, we have our social media queen coming up. Yeah. Is, um, is the, ori well, the original, I, I the, the original, original is back. The original? Oh. The original is back. The original SMQ is back. Mm -hmm. The stand-in princess is now waiting in line to her throne. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. 1-800-529-5465. I do have to remind everybody that we have not had a lot of shares yet, Squeeze. Yeah, yeah. So if I'm we don't have a lot of shares, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna have to keep talking about that. Yep. All right. So everybody, please let your friends know that this is the moment that we are going to be answering your legal problems your issues, the things that keep you up late at night, the things that give you a little anxiety, we're going to try to lower that for you right now. So please take out your thumb, mm -hmm. this thing, we go. go to the arrow and the share this on your speaks. timeline so your friends and family can also get that <clears throat> needed help that they need and also get a little entertainment in the morning as well. 1-800-529-5465 is the number to call. Let's, let's go to R Ronald. Ronald. Ronald in Jamaica, Queens. Hey, good morning, Rado. Hey, good morning, Rado. I, um, I have a VAWA question, Brad. Yes. Uh, my uh, petition was approved for the VAWA, mm -hmm. but uh, when it was time to adjust, I had a deportation uh, case. I thought the case was closed, but it was never closed. Now they tell me it was administratively closed. Right. Mm -hmm. Can the judge uh, who is doing this case, could, uh, could he make the decision right there once you have the petition approved? Uh, well, he, well, first you have to make a motion to recalendar the case. Administrative closure basically means that they stopped your deportation. All right. So if you think about it as a conveyor belt, you know, and you're building a car halfway through the conveyor belt, just stopped. They never completed your deportation case. You're not out of deportation, but they never ordered you deported. They just never scheduled you for the final hearing because out of out of the goodness of their heart saying, even though you're a deportable alien, we're not going to deport you. That's basically what administrative closure is. So now you have to go back to the judge, ask them to recalendar your case. You got to make a motion, recalendar your case schedule me for another hearing. When you go to that hearing, the judge is gonna look at you and say, dude, I'm going to deport you unless you got something to show me right now. Right. And you're going to say, here, here's the VAWA approval, I got it right here. <coughs> and then at that point, you're going, the judge can do one of two things. The judge can say, okay, now your case is terminated, 
You are no longer in deportation. You're free to file an adjustment application regularly like you would do any way else. Or the judge can say, I'm going to hold the case and I'm going to adjust your status here. We're going to schedule it for another day. That's up to the judge's discretion. Okay. okay. All right. But we can help you if you need help. Okay. Brad, uh, one more question. Yes. In this case, I have had a work permit and uh, I-36 a travel advance parole. Yes. In this situation, can I travel or you got to wait? I would wait until your deportation case is resolved. Once it's terminated and once the judge says you can file an adjustment, then you can travel. I believe if you had the travel document and you went for your interview, that travel document is no longer valid anyway because they denied your adjustment because you have a pending deportation. So my guess is the travel document is no good anyway, and you certainly don't want to travel while there's an open deportation order because they always have the right to hold you and stick you in jail. Interesting. Okay. All right. Okay. So what? All you, right. What? So really, it's just procedure that you screwed up on. Yep, that's it's it. It's just, and you know what? People screw up procedure. But we talk about this all the time. Okay. We talk when about it all the time. People screw up procedure. Okay. It's. Uh, you know, you need to know the law, and you, it's not like my cousin Vinny, where he's like, yep, I got it, and he turns around and doesn't got it. Right, okay? exactly. You remember when my cousin Vinny goes, it's all procedure, it's, it's all, all procedure. procedure. Yeah. Okay, yes, it is all procedure, yeah, but, and you need to know. But, 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 but yeah. you see, if you don't know, I'm the lawyer, then I have a lawyer, he tell me the case was closed, so I assume he said it was closed. Now you went you, know? to, you obviously went to my cousin Vinny. You should have went to Brad. I don't know what to tell you. We're just messing with you, yeah, Mike. Don't, don't go to my cousin Vinny. Yeah. All right, you go to my cousin Vinny. This is what happens. He doesn't know procedure. All right, hold on one second. We can help you, okay? All right, yeah, if the case is close, you know, it's it's like the my cousin Vinny situation. Yeah. My cousin Vinny? Yeah. 1-800-529-5465, 1-800-529-5465. Once again, the Brad and Squeeze Show. We're taking your calls, we're rolling. But remember, once again, if you are on the internet, share our Facebook page, facebook.com slash Brad and Squeeze, and share it on timelines, groups, other pages, wherever to share. The best thing to do is just press share and share it onto my timeline, and all your friends will see this show. Right. And if they need help, they'll come. But what if they have uh, other pages and groups? Maybe they can do that as well. Yeah, sure. All right, one eight zero zero five two nine five four six five. We're gonna get to call from Manhattan in a second, squeeze. But hopefully, yeah. we have our social media queen in place. Hopefully, people are leaving their immigration questions on our Brad and Squeeze page. We're gonna be going to our social media queen in about two minutes or so after we speak with Carl. And then we're going to be answering your immigration questions in our social media rapid fire, which has not been very rapid these days. Right. Maybe okay. rabid fire. It's <laughs> rabid, but not rapid. All right. Carl in Manhattan. Hey, good morning, guys. How morning. are you? Uh, well, How are you? Hey, Carl. What's up? Good. Um, I just, uh, uh, a couple of days ago, I just heard one of your lawyers talking about the I-212 waiver. I'm just calling on behalf of my friend. Mm -hmm. um, what does he need? Um, his his mom has filed for him, and there's another lawyer handling his, his case right now. And I kind of missed what um, the lawyer was saying as to what he needs. And well, well, he was ordered handle deported? That part of the case. He was ordered deported? Yes, I think so, yeah. And, and why was he ordered deported is the, mil is the million dollar question. And I think he just came in illegal. He just um, came well, he may need a fraud waiver, which is the 601. He may need a 212 waiver, which is a waiver to re-enter after deportation. Those are two separate waivers, mm -hmm. and those are two different thresholds to meet. The, the waiver for the 212 is what are, what are all the equities that you have in your favor to come versus all the equities to not come back to the United States. Equities meaning your length of time that you were living in the United States prior to deportation, the family that you have here, the hardships that they may have being separated from you, how your living conditions are in your home country. It's all about equities, the good and the bad. That's the 212 waiver. The hardship waiver, which is uh, the waiver for the 601 for the misrepresentation, those are two separate waivers, two different thresholds you have to meet, is based on extreme and unusual hardship to a parent or a spouse. If you don't have a parent or a spouse, you can't do it. And extreme and unusual hardship is exactly what they mean. This is beyond the general hardship that somebody would have being separated from their family member. And that's something that you would need a lawyer to, to delve into, to, to dig into, so to speak, and figure out yeah, what that he, is. Okay? Just, just, filling out, lawyer, just filling out a form and filling out a 601 waiver is a guaranteed denial. That's a, that's yeah, a my yeah. cousin Vinny move. He, he does want to go through 
you guys, but there's another lawyer that his mom sponsored him. He, I think he came in since like 89. Mm -hmm. And well, he, he has, just wanted to find a way. He has a right to switch lawyers at any time. It's his case. Yeah, but does he have to switch the, the whole previous case or can another lawyer do this? We, we, uh, no, we can do the waiver. waiver case, we definitely. can do the waiver. You <laughs> take it over. We take it over from wherever it's left off. Okay, so so one affect the previous lawyer's case no. where his mom filed for him. No, the only thing that's going to affect is that hopefully we'll do a better job than the current lawyer. Hopefully. That's what you're betting okay, on. Okay, I will give him um, okay. the, the number and then he All will right. call thank to like, set much. it up. Thank you. All right, All right thank you. All right. All right, once again, folks, this is the Brad and Squeeze Show. Make sure you tune in each and every single weekday live at 9 and live at noon. You can tell I'm getting old, man. Why? Because i got to be wearing reading glasses now. Yeah. You know why I also know you're old? Because you don't complain that you want to stand up anymore. You actually enjoy sitting. As a matter of fact, I hate sitting down. You actually enjoy sitting now. No, no, no. I seriously. You I, actually enjoy sitting no, during the show. I'm, you're asking or you're telling me? I'm telling you. No, well, I'm telling you. <laughs> I, I don't ask anything. I, I tell you. sitting down. You know what? <laughs> what? Sitting down is one of the biggest reasons why your, your, your midsection gets fat. Thus why I have been, I have been referred to as potbelly Brad sometimes. Yeah. I yes. hate. I sit a lot. Sitting down. Right. People don't know. People think it's you know, all the eating do you, that they do. do. You know no. What, do you know what causes, You're supposed to stand up every five minutes. Do you People know, don't even know do that. Do you know what causes pot belly, Brad? Sitting and S beer. Well, you don't drink beer, do you? Uh, sitting, I do. I do drink beer. You drink beer? I drink beer. You know I don't drink beer. I know. I've I never seen you drink beer. Oh, never. No, I drink beer. No I like beer it. for me. I went to the Nick game Sunday night. I drank beer. There's uh, nothing like see. sports and beer. Nah, I don't follow that. Mm. Nah. All right, let's see. Social media queen. Social media queen, where are you? There she is. I'm here. Hello. Hey. Uh, Welcome back. back. She's made a huge recovery. How was she Mexico? Was oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> She doesn't seem sick at all, does she? It's a huge recovery she's made. Nice tan. I'm just kidding. Right. Thanks. Anyway, so what's up? All right, I, I, uh, all right no, so I, what, what do you got on social media for us today, Queenie? Okay. Uh, Michael asked the first question on Facebook, and he asked, what are the five main questions I can expect at the interview when I'm married to a U.S. citizen and filed for my adjustment of status? What is your name? Let me see your valid my identification. Where do you live? How did you meet? I mean, there's basic questions that are basically, when did you get married? Those are basically, the first questions that are asked are everything you answered in uh, your application forms. You're going to be asked it okay. orally, okay? So mm -hmm. if there is an error on those forms, you better say it in advance. So you better walk in and say, there's an error on the forms before you start asking me, this is the real answer. <laughs> Fix it before the interview okay. starts. But the mm -hmm. first questions you will be asked are, you will, they will go through all your forms with you. Okay. Then you gotta prove you live together. Okay. Um, Angola would like to know, my priority date is January 30th of this year. When can I expect an interview date? Uh, she got married? Angola? Is Angola married no, to a I'm citizen? You Where does she live? Angola, are you married to a citizen? Or do you live in Angola? And waiting a green card there? <laughs> I don't know. We need a little more info. Next. Yeah, we need a bit we, more. We, we don't have a, a lot more. of information Squeeze, on Squeeze, can you fill in the blanks on this I for me? I can't fill in the blanks, but you we need a bit more. You cannot fill in the blanks no. for me, Squeeze. No. Can you assume? Should we no, assume? I never assume. I make an ass out of you and me. Okay, we will not assume. No. Squeeze <laughs> used to assume a lot, and boy, did we look like asses. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the loud bastard yeah, star. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's all right. I'm sorry. It's, oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. it's okay. all right. I'm, I'm sorry. I'll let you know when my was, turn. That was my judge. One second. That was my Judge Judy moment. Oh, where you, you know, you know how Judge Judy has to insult yeah, somebody. Yeah, Every yeah. day now, we're gonna have the Judge Judy moment of the day. Mm -hmm. All right, I will not do any more insulting. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, Angola is marrying a U.S. citizen. Angola's just, married. Is she, is she in Angola or is she in the United States? Angola, where are you living? All right, next. <laughs> we'll come back to Angola. one 800 529 Let's go back to Kim. Yannick would like to know, what's the first step to take after getting married to a U.S. citizen? File your adjustment application if you're in the United States. Get the process going. People always think that they have to be married for months and months and months, so that way they can prove it's a real marriage. If it's real, it's real. If it's fake, it's fake, whether you file right. the day after or you wait six months. 
So you get married, file, make yourself legal. The last thing you want to do is be here out of status in the age of Donald Trump. DT. DT. I whispered it because Squeeze can't stand his name anymore. Like, it like freaks him out now. Yeah, it does. You know, it's like that, 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 you know, it's like, you know, in the movie Chucky, you know, when Chucky comes out, nobody wants, nobody just, you know, nobody wants to, you know, and then you see the movie after, you're like, don't mention that guy Chucky. He scares the <laughs> hell out of me. You know, it's the same thing with Squeeze. You know, don't mention that guy DT. He scares the hell out of me. <laughs> now, did you just compare Donald Trump to Chucky? I absolutely just compared Donald Trump to Chucky. Let's continue. I think that one of the most fantastic yes, comparisons. Thank you. It is. Yeah. Um, Sean would like to know what evidence you need to prove VAWA. Uh, proof that you were physically abused or extreme emotional abuse and that you and your spouse were in a bona fide marriage. So every case is different. I mean, I don't, I, you know, obviously if you went to the hospital with bruises all over your body, God forbid, and you tell the doctor these bruises are from my spouse who beat the hell out of me mm -hmm. and uh, you have a child together, it's a pretty open and shut case. You got a kid together, proof you it's a real marriage and you're at a hospital with bruises. A lot of times it's not that straightforward. So every case is a little different and you would have to meet with an attorney. A lot of times it goes unreported. A lot of times the bruises are, in, are, in, are on the inside and not the outside. Um, so we don't know. And a lot of times the bruises are emotionally up here. Sometimes people just like to emotionally play with people. You know, and when you get to that level, mm -hmm. it could be extreme abuse. Have you ever people been, get off on that. Have you ever been played with emotionally? No, no. Okay. No. no one I don't. Okay. But no one has ever done it to you? No. Okay. Not to an extreme level. Okay. Good. Yes. People have tried, but have not gone away with it. Right. That's good. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah. And they, why did they just cut her off? 1-800-529-5465. Why is the studio calling us? Maybe we have a problem. The studio is calling us? Yes. My studio is calling. Oh, your studio is calling. I don't know. Is everything okay calling. there? This is, studio is calling me? They should be calling the... Oh, okay, but they, they should be calling the studio in there. Why would they be calling? I don't know why they're calling. Talent? Yeah. All right, let's continue, please. Okay, Candice would like to know what are the first set of papers a person files in order to adjust their status and begin uh, begin working. The first set of papers would be an adjustment and a work permit if that's if you're eligible. I seven six five, I forty five, okay. I one thirty. I assume if you're getting married. Okay. Michelle would like to know, how long does it take for a father to file for his 23-year-old son who lives in Trinidad? The father's a citizen and his name is not on the birth certificate. Uh, it's going to take seven years and you got to prove not only are you the biological father, so ultimately they're going to make you take a blood test, but you got to prove that you were in the child's life between birth and 18. You financially supported the child. You have visited with the child. You were, you were a decent father. You don't have to be leave it to beaver father, but you had to be a decent father. Got it. Yeah, um, Luther would like to know, good morning, what is an SD-260 number? S what? SD-260. SD-260? Is that, I think that's like some yeah. oil that you put in your car or something? That's WD-40. That's WD-40. I have no idea what SD-260 <laughs> is. Okay. I, have no, I, I don't know what he's talking about. Maybe he can... Maybe he okay. can uh, um, Shed in what context? Yeah, shed some light on exactly what that is. Okay. Absolutely. Yes. one 800 529 Just want to give out that number. It's a very important number. Just to give it out. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Net would like to know, what doc do you need to travel with if your fiance's visa is expired and your adjustment of status is not yet filed? You don't travel. You sound like you're out of status. Go file an adjustment and get an advance parole. Uh, what, princess what is, would what like is, to what know. What am I listening to? Are you listening to a video or somebody talking to you in your ear? No. I'm not hearing anything. Oh, I'm hearing. I'm not hearing anything. I'm not hearing okay. anything. Okay. Okay. You're hearing Mysterious anything? sounds mm -hmm. from the pride of I, I had a mysterious sound in my ear that the SD260 has to do with Louisiana taxes. That's well beyond the <laughs> that's well beyond the you're, scope of any knowledge I have. You're hearing things these days. Man. Okay, that's not what we do. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, Princess would like to know. I want to know if you file for your husband's child, will that child be a citizen under you? No, you do not gain derivative citizenship through a step parent relationship. 
Okay. Uh, to Tanisha would like to know. Oh, I don't know. Sorry about. I don't know what's going on. Um, Tanisha would like to know. My cousin is having a big problem. She's going through the removal of conditions, and she's having problems putting in putting all the required documents together. Her husband filed taxes and didn't put her on it. He left and she can't get in contact well, maybe with there's him. An she abuse, can't get maybe there's an abuse case there, but we would have to, you know, some sort of emotional abuse case, extreme emotional abuse, but we would have to sit down with her and figure that one out. If not, she has to find okay. it. Okay. She squeezed. I'm listening, to, I'm listening to some other volume in my ear. Is, is your phone not, on? No. Something's on. Why would it be coming from me? I don't know. I can't where send stuff. From, I can't send stuff to what's in I, the studio. Maybe, maybe either that, or maybe I'm literally going Why are crazy. You always, maybe what, I'm, maybe what I'm going crazy. And I'm putting voices please. in my ear. Are, are there voices coming on in my head? Like, am I go, literally going crazy on live? You are going crazy. I don't know. Because it's not be. coming from me. <laughs> okay. My stuff is not plugged into All your right. stuff. All right, let's continue. You know? Uh, Antoinette would like to know Can someone who's getting married in the U.S. who needs their status adjusted? adjusted send an invite to their kids in Jamaica to come to a wedding is that gonna cause a problem to a, the person in question not a problem but who knows whether the kids will get the visa and as long as you're honest by all means go try okay um, okay somebody also said Gary said an SD 260 is a data printer so we've got someone just different someone just Googled. different oh, 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 oh the DS 260 oh, oh, oh the DS 260 is the is the uh, is, is the immigration forms that you're filing through the National Visa Center? Not a print. Okay, not a got it. DS DS 260. 260. That's the biographic data forms. What is the question now about the DS 260? <laughs> Just what uh, what, what is, it? is it's, it's the biographic data forms that you get from the National Visa Center to start the processing of your visa in another country. Okay, okay. And we have successfully gone through all of our social Thank media. Thank you very so. much, social media queen. Welcome a back from Cancun. A very good <laughs> queenie job as usual. We will see you <laughs> later at the 12 o'clock. And there she is. All right. There she goes. 1 800 529 5465. Once again, the Brad Squeeze Show. Jeff Bossy is a funny guy. What is he saying? <laughs> Just snap. I do what my rice crispy spell to do, so I snap, crackle, and pop. <laughs> I'm telling you. All right. All right. All right. So, so let's so let's go let's go to Lisa in Charlotte, and mm -hmm. then we'll have a bradication. We'll talk about USA Credit, and we'll go oh, from really? there. Yeah. You guys remember that? Yes, I do. Lisa. Okay. All right. Hi. How, how are, are you guys? What's Morning. up? I'm good. All right. So last year, February, I had filed um, removed the conditions for the I-751, and um, went to an interview in West Palm Beach, um, Florida. For the interview, the immigration officer granted me that green card and said that I'll get it in 30 days. Right. However, I've been waiting for it. Thus far, I called USCIS, USCIS just now, and they said that it's the California office is actually it it is um, on the extended review. Right. So I'm not sure how long the process usually takes. Well, somebody, somebody, somebody's debating whether or not this is a real marriage or not. That's what it is. Okay. But, right. I don't um, know. I wasn't there at the interview. So the process can take three, three months, six months. When did you go for your interview? I went for the interview on March 16th of this year. Oh, so you're well beyond, you're at nine months now. My get, Correct. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they look to deny you and put you in deportation to try to... Uh, have you prove that it's a real marriage before a judge. What I would suggest you do, you're now nine months waiting on a decision is, hold on, I think at this point you're gonna need an attorney. All right, yep. at, believe well, it or I not. I do have an attorney. Well, okay, I well do then, have an then, attorney. Then, then stick with him. I don't know what to say. Uh, but nine months, you should have had a decision already. So hold on. Okay, I have another question, what if that's question? okay. Yeah, sure. Okay, so um, I have a son, he went down, he was actually here, we're in the process of filing for him, he actually got his I. 31 travel document hit um however it hit uh it was expired like two years ago so he went back to jamaica and um he wants to come back up his visa is still i guess still valid um no he can't come up on up a, he can't come up on a visa because he already showed an intent to get his green card he traveled on an advanced parole and then you left him out of the united states for two years so his adjustment was denied his visa is invalid someone has to refile for him from scratch okay so he's you totally just stated screwed. that 
totally screwed. So okay, I don't know so if this is no advice. Could... I don't know if this is advice your attorney's giving you, or you're just going off on your own doing this stuff. But you sent your, oh no no! You what sent, your, you sent your son home for two years on an advance parole. No, I you... never said two years. What I said you... that it expired two years ago. When did he leave? But he went home last year. So you sent him home for a year yes. ago on an expired advance parole. Even worse. So he can't come back now. He was he when you have an advance parole. You have applied for adjustment of status. That's why you have an advanced parole, okay? Advanced parole okay. allows you to leave. Let me just explain. Advanced parole allows you to leave for a very short period of time and come back to the United States. Short, week, two weeks. If okay. he never got his green card, once you leave the United States and your advanced parole is expired and you haven't come back for a year, that's the end of the adjustment that he did. He can no That adjustment's denied. His visa is also denied because he's shown an intent to get his green card. They won't allow him to come back on a visitor's visa. So when you sent him home, you sent him home to get stuck. He's got to start all over from scratch, unfortunately. I can help him, but you seem to have a very good attorney. So I don't know what to say. Oh, no, I never said I have a good attorney. Uh, I mean, it was just convenient for me at the time, being right. that you're in New York and I'm in Florida. I we, help people, at the we, time. Help, we help people in Florida all the time. All the time. And it's so ironic because I've been to your office like for um, a long time ago, but it was just, I don't know what happened and I just never did it. Right. But anyway, I'll hold get in touch with yeah, you and, um, and we'll, we'll talk. We'll yeah. talk. Absolutely. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Thank and you. By the way, I don't, and by the way, I don't mean sure. to be short with you or be, I'm not trying to be mm -hmm. cruel to you. I'm just really trying to be, you know, cut to the point with you. Sure. Okay. No, I understand that right. and I appreciate right. that right. and I respect that as well. Okay. All right. Well, you guys have a lovely day and I enjoy your show. Okay. Appreciate it. Thanks. Okay. Why Thanks, you, yeah, okay. But you were going so fast with we her. we got a lot to do. <laughs> she needs help. Yeah, I know. She's got her, she sent her son home. Mm. And then her son's stuck back home. And then she has a case pending for nine months. The woman needs help. Help. And it's not help. I'm going to be able to help her on a live television show. Mm. What is this still television? What is this called? A live digital show. It's a TV show. It's a TV show. A TV show. Then I pretend to be Judge Judy. <laughs> I'm not a Judge Judy. I haven't done it. Someone says, oh, have a good luck on your show, Judge Judy. <laughs> Listen, folks, the show is not over until I say it's over. So once again, please share with everybody. Jeff Bossy, everybody out there. Which, I want to know which team Jeff Bossy's on. Is he on Brad Squad or Team Squeeze? It's team Squeeze. Team Squeeze? You yeah, think? You want, yeah, because he, he's an American citizen. Uh-huh. Uh, he was born here. He needs absolutely no legal help. So there's no reason for him to watch me. He's only watching you. I don't know what you're trying to say. Yeah. All right. 1-800-529-5465. Once again, that's the number for the law offices of Spartanburg. I must remind you, if you have run-ins with the law, on a serious note, make sure you call the law offices of Spartan Bernstein, the criminal defense department, a good criminal defense department. Also, if you get into an accident or you get injured, Make sure you reach out to the law offices of Spartan right. Bernstein. You saw the beginning of there's, the show. There's, right? there's a lot going on on Facebook right now. Okay. okay? Uh, Carol Anderson says Squeeze Brad is right. And then right before that, Deborah Gail McGrone says Brad needs help. And what? Denise says, boy, cutthroat Brad. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of comments there. I don't know if I should have kept her on and, you know, tried to help her more or move on with the show. It's, you know, it's people, a big balancing act. People are learning a personality. Yes. You know? All right. So what do we want to do? I want us to um, actually do what you want to do. Let's talk about USA Credit Repair. Um, what about them? What about them? What about them? You, I'll you tell you me. about them. It's a company that is desperately needed in desperate times. These are desperate times, Squeeze. Okay. Desperate times require desperate measures. Nobody listens and to And we are just the guys so, you know. to do it, okay? And we're not saying go out there and cause mayhem. No. Okay? No. We're, not going, we're not saying go out there and do something unreasonable or unusual or something that will cause you a problem. When we say desperate times require desperate measures, we say when your credit's below 700, those are desperate times. And the desperate measures you need are, it's not so desperate. USA Credit Repair. Why is it not so desperate? Why is it reasonable? Why is it not going to hurt you? Because for the first 30 days, they will repair your credit for absolutely free. Free, F-R-E-E. -E. That's not desperate measures, that's smart measures. And then for 90 days, they guarantee you that your credit will be higher than when you started. Or that's not desperate measures, that's real stuff. 
And if your credit is not higher after 90 days, provided you follow their protocol, they will give you back your money. There is nothing desperate about this. The only desperate thing is that you're in desperate times right now and USA Credit Repair can repair your credit. Call them right now, free credit for the first 30 days, money back guarantee after 90, the telephone number to call USA Credit Repair. That's right, if your credit's below 700, you better be taking out this phone right now. Show them how you call USA Credit Repair. Show, you, you are on the street right now? Hey, USA Credit Repair, don't be ashamed. Why I really? called USA Credit Repair a lot. 1-800-872-7177. That's 1-800-USA-7177. 1-800-872-7177. Call them right now. And if you call them, say, I want my first 30 days free. I want 90-day money back guarantee. And they will say, yes, ma'am, we'll do that for you. Yes, sir, we will do that for you. 1-800-872-7177. There are proud sponsors, USA Credit Repair. 1-800-872-7177. 1-800-USA-7177. 1-800-872-7177. And I'll say it very slowly. 1-800-872-7177. I do not know what just happened in the past two and a half minutes, but um, it happened. It happened. Yeah. As long as it happened. <laughs> All right, so, let's go right, to let's Charisse go back in to Long Island. Question. Charisse, what I happened to was I just, I just, I, I did my, my, my contract as per con contractual mm. agreements. Uh, Charisse. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Not bad. What's going on? I would like to um, ask you a question. If you're in an abuse situation and you put in, your, you go to the abuse center, they put in your papers, and it's about two here now, and they say it's approval. And until now, I don't hear nothing about the green card. How long it take for you to get your green card, please? Uh, forever, because it sounds like they just filed the I-360, but not the adjustment. So now it's time to file the adjustment. Actually, the adjustment should be filed simultaneously with the I-360 if the abuse was through a U.S. citizen. Um, so now is yes, the time he to... Was a now is the, American now is the time to file the adjustment. It should have been done two years ago, but do it now. File an adjustment. You'll get your work permit and your green card. Hold on, and we can help you, okay? I have my work permit, but I'm waiting on the green card. Did you file an adjustment application? I have to call back the um, abuse I don't know to if you, I don't know if you have the work permit because you have an approved I-360, or you have a work permit I, because um, you filed the adjustment. If you filed the adjustment, you would have paid $1,225. Yeah. You would know if you did it. Um, because I, um, I did pay the, um, when I was, when I put in the paper with my husband first. Did, no, 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 no. Did you pay, a, no, because I assume now that adjustment's been denied. It was over two years ago. Did you no, pay? No, right, I don't. So, so it sounds like you have the work permit just because you have an approved I-360, not because you filed the, the adjustment. That's what it sounds like to me. And that's why you're waiting okay. forever for your green card. It sounds like to me you need to file an adjustment now. Okay. Thank you so you're much. You're welcome. And you know how you can tell? is if on your work yes. permit it says C9, mm -hmm. that means you filed yeah. the adjustment. If it doesn't say C9 and it says something else, that means you got it through, I forgot the sectional law that you got it through on the VAWA, that means you got it through the VAWA case and, and, you, and you now have to file an adjustment. That's how you can tell for sure. Okay? Got it? Did you go? I guess so. Go! All right. 1-800-529-5465. With five minutes to go, let's go to another call. Michael. Yes, good How morning. Are How are you? What's up, I'm Michael? good, sir. All right, I, I just got my green card about um, four years ago. Mm -hmm. And I would like to travel to Jamaica, but I have a domestic, domestic violence case with my wife. Right. And everything, everything is good. Right. I mean, we didn't go to, we went to court, but they dismissed the case. As, I long, know as, the case, okay as long as the case was dismissed, you're free to travel. If the case was something other than dismissed, you are not free to travel. You better be 100% certain that case was dismissed. That's all I can tell you. Travel with the disposition. Well, I, didn't pay, I didn't pay a fine. I didn't go to jail. And the paper, the disposition said case nolly, nolly pros, nolly Okay, something. so nolly prosecute means this was down in Florida. That means it wasn't prosecuted. So that's fine if that's what it says. Travel with the paperwork. So, Okay, and they won't, okay. they won't give you any problem. Of course they're going to give you a problem because you got arrested, but you'll be allowed back in the United States. Okay. All right? All right. Thank you. You're welcome. 1-800-529-5465. Are they coming to... for you, Squeeze? Why I hear they, sirens. Why, is, why would the sirens have to be coming for the black guy? I don't know. Maybe they're coming for me, but I don't think I did anything wrong. And why would you think I did something wrong? 
I don't know. I just know there's only two people in the room. And why I would they be coming for me? I hear sirens and I don't know. Why would they be coming for me? I'm just making sure you didn't do anything. Why would they be coming for me? Yeah. What did I do? Yeah. All I did is not get to stand up here. And I want to stand up. <laughs> Jacqueline in Queens. Hi, good morning. Yes. Good morning. Is it Jacqueline or Jacqueline? Jacqueline. <laughs> right. It's Jacqueline. I have a quick question. Yeah. If somebody has um, come into the United States, don't have their green card, and they want to apply for a driver's license in Connecticut, which they said you need the I-94 to apply, is, is that possible? I don't know what the rules are for applying. Honestly, I don't know what the rules are for applying for a driver's license in Connecticut. Uh, we do have a Connecticut office. We do have Connecticut attorneys. Marina Brolin, you may want to break field. I'm sorry. I don't know why I said that. Marina Brolin's an old friend of mine. Marina Breakfield up in Connecticut and mm. uh, slip of the tongue. Mm. And so Marina is sure um, Marina is in our Connecticut office in Hartford on Congress Avenue. And she probably knows the answer to that. So maybe you want to have a consultation with her, A, to figure out how to get a green card, and B, to see if you're eligible for a driver's license in Connecticut. But I don't know the rules for driver's licenses in Connecticut. All right, thank All you. All right, you're very welcome. Slipping up on names here. Huh? Slipping up on names and not knowing the rules I of Connecticut why, driver's Brad. license. I, I never, and the reason I don't know the rules for driver's licenses in Connecticut is I don't live in Connecticut and I've never applied for a driver's license in Connecticut. So I have no idea what they do. I have a yeah. Connecticut driver's license. I don't know the process because I've never actually done it. I can tell you the process of New York. You need to prove your legal status. That's what I do now. That's it? That is it. Squeeze, we have about 30 seconds. 1-800-529-5465, 1-800-529-5465. want to say thank you all so much for tuning into the Brad and Squeeze Show. Do remember that we'll be back live at noon right here. Brad and myself, and make sure you tell your friends and share the pages and so forth. 93.5 FM listeners, thank you all so much for listening. And thanks to our partner, USACreditRepairInc.com. Make sure you call them at 1-800-872-7177. And once again, the Brad and Squeeze Show, you can reach the law firm at one 800 Uh, 529-5465. 1-800-529-5465. Put that phone number in your phone right now and you can schedule to make appointments as we speak. 1-800-529-5465. We are out of here. We'll see you tomorrow. See you. The proceeding was informational only and not specific legal advice. Consult an attorney about your individual situation. Prior results do not guarantee a similar outcome in the future. To make an appointment with the Sparn Bernstein Law Firm located at 225 Broadway in New York City, call 1-800-529-5465. That's 1-800-529-5465. Easily remembered, 1-800-LAWLINK. That's 1-800-LAWLINK. Once again, make a call to 1-800-529-5465. And, of course, link up with the law offices of Smart Bernstein located at 225 Broadway on the fifth floor. If I were you out there, make the call, make the link, make the connection, make it Spar and Bernstein. 1-800-LAWLING. That's 1-800-529-5465.